On Saturday the 25th of June 2016, the Airfields of Britain Conservation Trust travelled to Gravesend in Kent for the unveiling and dedication of their 55th airfield marker. We would like to thank Gravesend Borough Council and Gravesend Community Leisure Limited for providing a very prominent site for the memorial immediately in front of the Cascades Leisure Centre and for their ongoing logistical support. Special thanks go to the Gravesend Airport Heritage Project and in particular John Tate, the event coordinator, and the project team. Little of Gravesend Airfield remains today, with Riverview Park being built on the site soon after it closed. An overlay of the airfield layout on an aerial photograph of the area shows where it was. The event was well attended by local residents of Riverview Park, with a contingent from the RAF Association and 402 Gravesend and 1051 Dartford ATC squadrons in attendance. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen and thank you all very much for coming to the unveiling of the Gravesend Airfield Memorial. My name is Kenneth Bannerman, I'm the head and leader of the Airfields of Britain Conservation Trust and first of all I would uh, like to uh, introduce and we're very grateful to have her with us, the Mayor of Gra Gravesham, Councillor Critically, who would like to see some words. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm so pleased to see so many of you here today. First of all, I'd like to say a welcome to the Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Mrs. Rosemary Diamond, to our MP, Adam Holloway, the Director General, Kenneth Bannerman, also the councillors for um, Riverview, which is Councillor Bill Lambert and Councillor David Hurley. Also, all the other councillors, members of the armed forces, the cadets, and all our distinguished guests, and everyone that is present here with us today. Welcome on behalf of the Airfields of Britain Conservation Trust. We are here today to unveil the Airfield Memorial Stone in conjunction with the director, Kenneth Bannerman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for um your speech, thank you. Gravesend Airfield, or airport as it was sometimes called, originally opened in 1932, over the summer and autumn of that year. The founder of it was a man called Edgar Percival, who later went on to found a fairly well-known aircraft construction firm, Percival Aircraft, which built uh, a famous radio training aircraft in World War II called the Proctor. It was originally earmarked as an airport in the true sense of the term, but it really found its uh, true meaning in the 1930s as what we would now call a general aviation airfield, in other words, all civil aviation use apart from the airlines. There was a flying school here, and then when the RAF started emerging here as well, towards the end of the 1930s, there was a military flying training school as well. Once World War II started, Fighter Command soon appeared here and from the beginning of 1940 many RAF fighter squadrons were based here over the next four and a half years. Gravesend itself played a very major part in the Battle of Britain. Thankfully, unlike Biggin Hill and many other airfields, also East Church and Isle of Sheppey, Gravesend thankfully was not terribly badly bombed and without any loss of life but it played a very major part in the conflict through RAF fighter and fighter bomber squadrons. In peacetime, the airfield reverted to its civil status and there was a fairly well-known firm here that, that still is remembered today called Essex Aero that maintained civil aircraft. And this kept the airfield going for another 10 years until the airfield was eventually relinquished in the early summer of 1956, after which housing began to appear only another two years or so thereafter. So thank you very much for your time and I'll now hand over to the Reverend Bourne. Thank you. Madam Mayor, 
Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure and honour to share with you today for this memorial dedication, which marks both the civilian uh, airfield and its military use as part of RAF Gravesend. A moment of stillness followed by a prayer. Gracious God, as we come to dedicate this memorial, we remember with gratitude that you have made a beautiful world for us to explore and in which we can both serve and take delight. Help us now to recognize the high destiny to which you call us. And we pray that the inspiration that others have given in the past may help us in our turn play our part for the good of all and the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Now our Member of Parliament, Adam Holloway, is going to bring a reading from the Psalms the reading to us. is from Psalm 8. Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heaven. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what mankind is, being mindful of them, human beings that you care for them, you have made them a little lower than angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and all animals of the wild and the birds in the sky. Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I'd like to now invite uh, Madam Mayor yourself and uh, Kenneth to unveil the memorial. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. And now, Deputy Lieutenant Rosemary Diamond is going to uh, read the poem, Ten Years Gone. It was ten years gone last Monday when we hastened up Thong Lane. Our interview was set for ten. We prayed, twas not in vain. A few days later, there were we, manipulating metal. A sorry lot we seemed to be, striving hard to settle. Though welding seemed a tricky art, we took it in our stride. On aircraft work we did our part and now look back with pride. At times the work seemed irksome, true, yet valuable it seems. United efforts for the few by us, one of the teams. Peacetime at last, plans duly laid, the mag crate did appear Today, a million crates and more we've made, yet not one drop of beer. We did our job. We'll do it yet. But one thing is quite plain. Not one of us will e'er regret. We hastened up Fong Lane. And now we're going to share in an act of remembrance which Adam Holloway is going to lead. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, van in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. them. We thank you for the victories of the past and for the freedoms we now enjoy. We especially remember before you today the contribution made by all who worked at this airfield over many years. And so we dedicate this memorial. That by your blessing, this memorial may be to us and to all who see it an opportunity to remember, to be thankful, and to be inspired. 
so may we in our generation be lifted above all that would depress and destroy, so that we may see and work for that greater heavenly vision and destiny to which you call us. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon each one of you and upon all those whom you love, this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs> 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 best, 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 best